Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing an all-day wear test on the Juvia's Place Velvety Matte Foundation. Mine is in the color 630 Capri. The one thing I liked about ordering this is it asked you some questions about your skin and boom, picked out a color. The color on me is fantastic. If I hadn't been out in the sun, so if my skin looks a little bit whiter here than here, it's just because I've been out in the sun. And this is for my everyday use when I'm not in the sun. So I really like the fact that you could answer a few questions and get your skin color. So she was spot on. I wish other brands would pick this up because it is a brilliant idea. I can't tell you how many foundations I've ordered online thinking I got the right color and I haven't. And then I don't return them. So I have a lot of mismatched foundations. So Juvia's Place, way to go. Fully awesome, totally cool idea. Okay, I barely put any dots on because I had watched a few videos and they send, tend to be about 50-50 on oily skin. I have oily skin. It has been really hot in Dallas, so I'm super pumped about trying this in a really hot environment because if it does really good in a hot environment, I have no... I have... I'm sure I'm sure that it will do fantastic during winter. So if anything can hold up in summer in Dallas, it is a great winter foundation. I love the fact I didn't have to put on very much. It bounced into the skin really well, looked flawless. I did use a primer from Scandinavia because I just enjoy the Scandinavia primers. They feel lightweight on me. And yeah, I can't wait to see how everything else works out. So it, like I said, it bounced really well into the skin. It looks flawless and I can't wait to see how this baby holds up on me in Dallas during a hot day. Mm-hmm. All right. So if you want to see how this does, you're in the right spot. Stay tuned. Okay. So as a greasy faced female or oily skin that needs coverage. I've been curious about the Juvia's Place foundation. I've seen a couple reviews and they're kind of like 50-50. only seen a couple, so that doesn't mean a whole lot. So we're going to start out with the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. Because that's my fave. Not finishing spray. We're going to start out with Scandinavia to prep the skin. Yep, I love you. Looks like from some of the ones that I've watched, you don't need a lot. So we're just going to start little because I don't want to over cake my face. And you know I love over caking. Wow. Okay. Nice. The other thing that I thought was neat about this was that... I answered some questions and it told me what color I needed and to be honest with you if I hadn't been out in the sun this color would be spot on. Wow that looks good but you can see the difference between me being in the sun and out of the sun but that's okay. All right I also got the Juvia's Place concealer Okay, so I would say this concealer concealed. Absolutely. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and finish up the face with powder, bronzers, etc. I'm going to bronze it up a little bit around the edges just to get it darkened so that it's not... doesn't look like I have another head on a different body. But I will say it bounced into the skin super nice and super flawless so I'm kind of pretty pumped already I'm gonna keep going okay Wish so I finished my work day and I looked in the mirror and oh my goodness um, I kind of cracked up kind of cracked up at myself I couldn't figure out why I had makeup like foundation on my keys now at work now I understand why and we're gonna zoom in. I must have went somehow down my nose and got it on my fingers, which meant I was typing on the computer. 
So it's just been a regular work day for me. Um, nine hours, nothing over the top. But I definitely can see I'm missing my nose. My nose is swiped away. So obviously this foundation kind of pushes up on the skin for me. My chin though is not bad as far as the coverage goes, but you definitely can tell that the oils are pushing up. There's uh, just kind of the separation around my nose in my T-zone. Oh my goodness, this is a hot mess over here. I didn't even see that a little bit ago. So it does look like it's it the oils push it up off of the skin in the oily zone, which is an absolute bummer for me. Like this is an oil slick right here. I'm afraid to touch it. Definitely afraid to touch it. I'm thinking for me this might be definitely more of a winter foundation and again I'm absolutely bummed why am I bummed I freaking love the coverage on this thing this foundation is amazing in coverage so I'm guessing for the dry skin beauties this is going to be like the new holy grail the new everyone's got to have it foundation because this baby covers I just need to find a foundation that covers on oily skin and doesn't lift or yeah if I could figure that out or if someone could figure out how to test their foundations on me and figure it out buddy they would they'd make money they would make money I just you know in some of the really hot hot areas with oily skin I, this one just didn't pass the muster for summer but I am going to keep this on my my desk here because I really love the coverage so I might need to mix it with some others I may try mixing it with some others for summer to see if I can get the coverage this gives along with maybe another one making it stick more oh <laughs> I'm so depressed this is one of those foundations I wanted to love like I wanted to be one with Juvia's uh, foundation <laughs> why why oily skin <laughs> must you let me down again all right y'all if there is any uh, oily skin beauties out there that have something that really sticks during summer and you're in a hot swampy area like Dallas or like the South uh, I would really like to hear what you have to say because I just can't seem to find something that doesn't slide right off my face for the most part all right y'all I hope you liked this video um, please give it a thumbs up if you did put your comments questions thoughts below yeah that's all I'm saying have a great one Thank you so much for watching this video today using the Juvia's Place Foundation in the color Capri 630. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.